This is only one news you won't see anywhere else. I'm not sure if you are familiar with the internet naming system, but if you are, you probably already hold your own opinion about the news that happened a few days ago. The United States is ready to hand over the internet naming system to ICANN. For your convenience, I want to point out two keywords. ICANN stands for the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. It is a non-profit organization that is responsible for coordinating the maintenance procedures of several databases related to the namespace of the Internet. Second one is Internet Naming Systems. It is one of the Internet's most important components because it pairs the location to the easy-to-remember web addresses. That is a fancy way to say it. For example, when you type in YouTube, you actually translate to an AP address instead of a series of numbers. And make sure when you type in, in YouTube.com, you can go to YouTube.com. Since the Internet has largely come from the United States, how the Internet naming system is controlled is always been talking over time. But that's not the case anymore. United States is ready to hand over the Internet's naming system to ICANN. There are many debates about whether the U.S. should hand over the power of controlling Internet or not. Many of American people consider that ICANN is not preparing enough to get the authority to control the Internet. The United States handing over authority over the Internet domain to an international body. Why would President Obama do that, and why it could be a huge problem in the future? Writing in Republican Senator quote, This action will significantly increase the power of foreign governments over the Internet, especially like China and Russia. But the problem is that there is nothing wrong to hand over the power to ICANN. The Internet seems to be vital to the world economic to society, to the political life. It is no longer simply a tool we used to do in 20 years ago. Governance mechanisms of the Internet need to become equally global and inclusive. Anyone from any stakeholder group who wish to participate in shaping the policies and standards of the Internet need to have easy, equal access, and I can will facilitate that. The world is seeking uh, some answers on the issue. And until we are ready to engage with the U.S. government on an actual timeline, I will refrain from setting one, but I can assure you a decade won't do. Uh, the world is more anxious to see an independent, uh, globally accountable ICANN with where no one government, no one organization, no one individual has oversight or rights higher than the others. So that everyone has equal access. To do this, there are going to be more than one country that can regulate the Internet. It will be more free and open. To do this, there are going to be more than one country that can regulate the Internet. It will be more free and open. Obviously, this is a good thing. Besides, the U.S. surveillance programs Prisons brought many bad influence of overall credibility. It allows the NSA to request data on specific people from major technology companies like Google, Facebook, Apple, and others. Critics are concerned about the extent of the program and whether it violates the constitutional rights of U.S. citizens. The actions of handing over the Internet naming system can be really helpful to retrieve the image of the U.S. That's only one news. Let's talk about that on Twitter.